Welcome to Barker 2020. It's a new year, in a new decade, and in fact a new era for our school. I'm bringing you this greeting here from level three of the Rosewood Centre. And you can see right behind me, courts five, four, and three are taking shape. You can see also the cladding is beginning to appear around the perimeter of the building. We're really positive about the progress. There's a lot to still do, but a lot has been achieved over this last month. I'd like to show you a little bit more. This is one of the 12 classrooms that's in the new centre, and it will allow a wonderful sense of outlook across Rosewood Field. And we see the tree canopy across the whole district that's located in this area. Uh, but Blue Gum High Forest is quite a feature of this part of Sydney and we've made it into something of a feature of the Rosewood building itself. Uh, I'm sure the students will love learning in a space like this one with a sense of outdoors and indoors constantly feeding together. So here we are in Court 5, almost immediately adjacent to Court 4. You'll see the posts are in place, the hoops are looking really good. Uh, we're now getting the floor ready for the timber layer to go over the top, which will be in a few weeks' time. It takes a little bit of time to make sure that the floor is absolutely perfect. Straight beside it are change rooms uh, and media and gathering facilities, which are extremely important. Parents will be able to watch from the balcony, and in this level here, be able to watch on Court 5, uh, where we design uh, this with the mind of uh, younger students playing. We've all experienced quite a few distresses over the course of the summer holiday. Whilst on the one hand we're grateful for the safety that we've enjoyed in this space, as we watch all of this building take place, we are very mindful of other people who have suffered over these last few months. Uh, to some extent, the good progress that's been made in this building gives us all a little bit of a lift as we enter our 130th year at Barker. Uh, well, we're here on the first floor. Um, the car park is just through the wall on this side. And we're now standing right on the edge of the strength and conditioning room. A few months ago, we needed to remove all of our strength and conditioning equipment from a larger space into a temporary smaller space. It's all getting ready for this, a very significant space that we think will last us for 30 to 40 years at least. Uh, it will also accommodate all different sports types, body types and interest types. There is a parallel room to this one up on level two. This is for more resistance work and above there is for more aerobic fitness work. Uh, we'll be covering off all different types of dance and movement and physicality in this new facility. This will be one of several major wayfinding places in this building. Just to my right there is the car park. Uh, people will park their cars there. We'll walk through. We'll be able to either take the lift straight up onto level two uh, or across to the bridge uh, or be able to take the lift down half a floor to level one and walk straight out into Rosewood Field. To my left there, the set of sweeping stairs leads up to the court level. The set of stairs leads above that onto the bridge level in the viewing area. And everything radiates from this central point of the building. Together with the large skylights and the translucent lighting, the louvers, the whole space is designed to be environmentally friendly, aware of the climate of this portion of Sydney and a sense of lightness about a very large building. It's almost a human scale in here. Uh, we shouldn't get lost as if it's a vast warehouse, but we should also feel a sense of space and capacity that's available in this building. We've reached the point in the construction where we've needed a bit more space in the construction zone itself. That's required us to close the whole of the avenue. It's pretty inconvenient that over, over the next few weeks while this construction process occurs and we reduce our car parking. 
Help is on the way with all that additional car parking underneath this building. For, for a little while, the avenue will not be available to us. The school will be in touch with families to make pro provision at the beginning of the year for the commencement for all of our new families who are joining us. In the meantime, I do want to say on behalf of the community of the school how grateful we are for your patience while we get through this process. Uh, it will be worth the wait. We're now standing in the room that was formerly part of the PDHPE classrooms, but now it's part of the Gamson Centre, newly refurbished. Now, it's one thing to build a brand new building, right from scratch, right from Greenfield site. It's quite another to take an existing building and to remodel a little bit, to breathe new life, to modernise it, to make it more comfortable and accessible for everybody. And that's exactly what's been achieved in this space. This is the new commercial study centre. Replacing that which was once in the H block, all of our economics, legal studies, business studies and commerce classes will now occur here in the G classrooms. We're standing in G102, which as you might see, is right near the old swimming pool gates. This lovely new space provides accommodation for eight classes some meeting rooms for teachers, a gathering space, a common room, a kitchen, and a staff leadership room. Uh, we're really happy with how this space has come up, and I think the students will love learning in this environment. Amongst the changes that the school is experiencing is the need to increase the accommodation in different parts of the school. Our senior school needs additional rooms. Uh, we've reorganised things for the present, turning uh, some former rooms into new classrooms. Soon, above the Gamson Centre here, where currently is the, the basketball court, that will soon become a learning commons for our senior school students. That's only when we can occupy the Rosewood Centre. So we're trying to plan ahead as much as we can. We're so excited that here in 2020, in our 130th year and the first year of middle school co-education that these new facilities have been made available to all of our students. We appreciate very much the patience of staff and students and parents while we've been making these developments. There's so much more to look forward to in the year that lies ahead. I look forward to walking that journey with you.